All right, I'm gonna be changing out the springs in my Cimarron 1851 um, Navy conversion. So I don't have any of the gauges to tell the trigger pull or the whatever, but all I can say is it's pretty stiff to pull back. I just changed this one and man, it's so smooth. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, springs in this one. You'll see <clears throat> in the kit, you get a, you get the washer, which I think is for the main, the main spring. I didn't use it in the first one. Uh, if I'm wrong, you can go ahead and tell me in the comments but you get a main spring and a trigger spring. And uh, you can see the difference. On the left is the stock main spring, and on the right is the new main spring. And then on the left is the old flat spring and the new like round spring or whatever. Put those to the side. <clears throat> All right, so first thing you got to do is take your gun, your grip off with the proper fitting screwdrivers. Oh, Freddie, you got to hold on to them. try to put mine in a certain order that way I can remember where they go now it don't matter as much on here but when you're dealing with the Rugers uh, some of the screws are different sizes so um, it does matter where they go you'll have one of the screws on the uh the bottom of the grip frame that's a lot longer but here with the Uberti um, it's not that way so with the grip frame or the grip off which I got right there you can set that aside switch a bit I like to loosen this main spring. So just to kind of take some of the tension off of it. You don't have to undo it all the way. And then just makes it a lot easier if you if you uh get some of that tension off. Okay. The lighting is not very good here. At my workbench, unfortunately, I've got lights over here in the front, and they they kind of cast the light a certain way. I need some some more straight overhead. Uh, this one's kind of long, so and what I do here is just basically just uh, leave leave that um leave the screws in here <clears throat> but I'll go ahead and take this this one off because we won't be using this one no more put that one to the side get your new one and just kind of get get it started and uh, it'll be out of your way make sure you don't lose these screws I try to keep them in there but I let those fall. All right. <clears throat> so now you'll have your uh, 
Let's see, let me put the Y of them back in here because I don't know if you can see, but this screw is kind of wide. Now they say that there may be some fitting that may need to happen. <clears throat> uh, you may need to fit it. They don't, I guess they don't guarantee it to work. Um, my other one worked fine. It was the same length. Everything lined up perfect. And this one's, this one's looking good too. All right, so you put your spring in. Go ahead and snug it down. Make sure your trigger's returning. This one is. Okay. Now, you'll just kind of Put these in here like like so. And unlike the Ruger, these the Ruger has a long one right here. The back ones are the same size. There's a short one on the front here. So if you're doing that, you wanna you'll wanna keep that in mind. You know, what you do is you just Put this piece in here and just kind of make sure you're hooked under here. Um, there'll, be, there'll be a little bit of tension. Dad. And, uh, Mom's wearing my Alright, so as I was saying, you, you want to hook that in there. And what I like to do is just I'm loosen it just a little bit. You don't want it so loose that it comes out, but you want it to be able to move. Get one of the action screws. Start tightening that down. Once you get the one in there, you you know it goes a lot smoother. Then you can kind of lock these other ones down. Get those snug. The front one is the short one. Try not to bugger your screw up. Then you swap back out to your big bit and go ahead and tighten your main one down. Just do a quick function test. That's beautiful. Put your grip back on. Put your little bit back in or get your other one. Now this one's a short one on here. Get it all lined up. Get your screw. Now you don't want to get it too tight. You want to be able to move the uh this here to get these other ones in if you have it one of them locked down too tight you won't be able to uh bend it around enough to to get everything in so i so i get them in there get them mostly started not completely snug down and then when i get to the last one 
I'll go ahead and snug it down. And snug this one down. Come over here to your bottom one. Snug it down. There you go. So much of a difference over the factory, uh, factory springs. Can't wait to get these to the reins. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I appreciate you watching. And uh, um, everything helps y'all. These algorithms and shadow bands get to us all the time. So um, if you're seeing this, please uh, comment. Let me know how you like the video. And as always, share, uh, comment. Appreciate everybody's subscriptions. Thank you for watching.